Peace and black power, peace and black power. It's the Prince of Pan-Africanism, King Kong Consciousness. I just got into Boston, Massachusetts. Boston, Massachusetts, the Prince is here. Boston, Massachusetts, the Prince is here. Roxbury, stand up. First visit in five years. Dr. Umar's first visit to Boston since 2016. Come out today. Meet and greet the Prince of Pan-Africanism today. Come and get the new book, Black Parent Advocate, today. Every black parent needs the book. I will be in Boston all day today, 2 p.m. until 8 p.m. at the Good Shepherd Church. 2 p.m. until 8 p.m. at the Good Shepherd Church in Roxbury today. 2 p.m. until 8 p.m. at the Good Shepherd Church here in Boston, Massachusetts. The Prince of Pan-Africanism is here. Boston, the Prince is in the building. 18 Whittier Street. 18 Whittier Street. No registration, no tickets. Meet and greet Dr. Umar, special ed drop-in clinic. If you have questions, bring your questions to the Good Shepherd Church today at 18 Whittier Street in Roxbury, Massachusetts. Five years too long, the prince is here. Five years too long, the prince is here. Black Parent Advocate book release, the books of $50, credit card, cash or cash app. The books are $50, credit card, cash, or cash app. Boston, Massachusetts, the Prince of Pan-Africanism just landed in your town. First visit in five years, Good Shepherd Church. Come out the day, 18 Whittier Street. We here. Tomorrow, Black Parent Boot Camp, 18 Whittier Street from 8 to 8. Book signing today, Friday, 2 to 8. Boot camp tomorrow, Saturday, 8 to 8. If you're coming to the boot camp, you must register, drumarjohnson.com. You don't need to register for the book signing today. Rest in peace to DMX. Rest in peace to DMX. His first two albums are two of my favorite hip-hop albums of all time. I just got the word soon. I landed in Boston, Massachusetts. So we want to big up X, big up the X family, X community, Yonkers, stand up. All the family in Yonkers, New York City, all the hip hop heads around the world who is mourning one of our greatest ones. What I loved about DMX so much, he wasn't heavy on the materialism. DMX was not heavy on the materialism. He was heavy on the spiritualism. DMX wasn't heavy. Unlike most other rappers, his songs was not bragging. He was not bragging about how much money he had. He wasn't bragging about the Gucci and the Louis and the this and the that. He might have had a little bit of that, but that wasn't DMX's message. That wasn't DMX's message. DMX was one of the only hip-hop artists who prayed to God on his albums. How many hip-hop artists prayed to the Lord on their albums? How many hip-hop artists influenced their fans to build a relationship with God? How many artists can you say do that? DMX was the angel of hip hop. DMX was the angel in hip hop. And now he up there with Big L, Big Pun, Tupac. You understand Notorious B.I.G. And so many others that we lost, not to mention all the rappers who passed away during this year alone. So DMX, we standing with you. I'm hoping it's a public vigil. Vigil. I'm hoping it's a public funeral. I plan on driving through Y.O. The Big Up X, one of my favorites. Can't believe we got that sad news today. I can't believe we got that sad news today. Rest in peace to X. I'm going to be rocking your songs all day long. Everybody turn your DMX on. Put your Rough Rider hoodies on. Rep X as much as we can, family. And to the family of DMX, to the family of DMX, if there's anything Dr. Umar can do, if y'all going to do a scholarship fund, if y'all going to start a community center, whatever y'all going to do in the name of DMX, call on Dr. Umar. I will come speak. I will use my talents, my skills as a school psychologist, educated doctor of clinical psychology, Pan-Africanist political science to benefit the DMX Foundation. Everybody know my number. Pass it on to the family. If there's anything I could do to benefit the DMX Foundation, his memory I'm here to do that, family. I'm here to do that. With that being said, I got to get ready to run over to the book sign in Boston. I am here. Nice sunny day. Get your cameras out. We taking pictures with my Boston queens, my Boston kings, my Boston elders, my Boston youth. It's all about Boston today. I'm dedicating today's book signing 
to the memory of DMX, I'm dedicating tomorrow's Boston, Massachusetts Black Parent Boot Camp to the memory of DMX. We lost another legend. But let me say this to Hubert Davis. Let me say something to Hubert Davis. Let me say this to Hubert Davis. Negro, I don't know who's Black America you were raised in. To University of North Carolina men's basketball coach Hubert Davis, I don't know what black community you came from, my brother. I don't know what black community you came from, my brother. But you don't say you're proud to be black. And then in the next sentence, say you're proud to have a white wife. Those don't go together. I'm talking to President Hubert Davis. We proud of you, brother. We proud of you. You're the fourth black coach of any sport in the state of Carolina. Head coach, we proud of you, Hubert Davis. No more cooning, my brother. That was an embarrassment and a disgrace to the African race. Don't you ever in your life say you proud to be black in one sentence. And then in the very next sentence, you turn around and say you proud that your wife is white. That Those two statements, Hubert, those two statements, Hubert, those two statements cannot coexist in the same sentence. You cannot say, I'm proud to be black. And then turn right around and say, I'm proud to have a white wife. That's a contradiction. And do you know why it's a contradiction, Hubert? The reason it's a contradiction is because if you were proud to be black, you would not have a white wife. Do you hear me, Hubert? Do you hear me, Hubert? Let me say it again. If you were proud to be black, if you were that proud to be black, you would not have a white wife, Hubert. Coach Davis, Coach Davis, what were you drinking before that news conference, brother? You got the white folks pissed off for bigging up the blacks, and now you got the Africans pissed off for bigging up your snow bunny crisis. The snow bunny crisis is a disease, Coach Hubert Davis. Nobody's proud of having a mental illness. The snow bunny crisis is a mental illness. You cannot be proud to be black and then say you're proud to have a white wife, my brother. Because if you were proud to be black, you would not have a white wife. Hubert Davis, my brother, your coon chip was on maximum activation. What was that, yesterday or the day before? Your coon chip was on maximum activation, my brother. I'm proud to be black and I'm proud to have a white wife. So if you proud to have a white wife, wife, would you not be proud to have a black wife? If you so proud to have a white wife, would you not be proud to have a black wife? How proud of you are you really how proud are you really of your African heritage? You started off the news conference wonderfully. I said, this brother is about to rep for the people hard. I grew up watching Hubert Davis at the University of North Carolina. I remember you, brother. You started off repping hard. I said, Hubert Davis is coming out with the RBG. He been watching King Kong consciousness videos. He been watching the Prince. And then all of a sudden, in the middle of what I thought would be a historic black coach announcement and head coach reception job press conference, what I thought was going to be a historic press conference. He came out the blocks hard. What I thought was going to be a historic press conference turned into another black male in a position of influence and authority shucking and jiving and backsliding for his slave master. What I thought was going to be historic, what I thought was going to be historic, what I thought was going to be a historic press conference from the first ever black male head coach of the University of North Carolina Tar Heels men's division one basketball team turned out to be a dress rehearsal for a role as top coon. What I thought was going to be a historic press conference for the first black male coach in UNC Chapel Hill basketball history turned out to be a dress rehearsal for top coon on campus. Hubert Davis, don't you do that again, my brother. 
Don't you ever do, don't you ever in your life say you proud to be black and then say, I'm proud to have a white wife. Don't you ever do that again. Boston, I am in the building. The prince of Pan-Africanism is in Boston and I bring you revolutionary greetings from North Philadelphia. And I bring you revolutionary greetings from West Philadelphia. And I bring you revolutionary greetings from South Philadelphia in Mount Airy in Germantown in West Oak Lane. The prince is in Boston. 18 Whittier Street all day today, two to eight, roll up. If you love me, if you hate me, whatever the situation is, come through. Tomorrow, boot camp, eight o'clock in the morning, be on time. Tomorrow, Boston, know your school rights boot camp, eight o'clock in the morning. If you're not in your seat by 10 a.m., you're not getting in. If you're not in your seat by 10 a.m., you are not getting in. We getting down to business tomorrow. We got a few spots open. If any parent wants to come to the Know Your School Rights Boot Camp, go to drumarjohnson.com, register right now. Catered Black Soul Food Lunch tomorrow. Catered Black Soul Food Lunch tomorrow. Catered Black Soul Food Lunch tomorrow. Rhode Island, pull up. Vermont, pull up. New Hampshire, pull up. Connecticut, pull up. New York, pull up. Today is the book signing. Come through free. You downstairs, King? Here I come. What's up? All right, see you in a minute. Okay, I got to go. It's time for the book signing. I ain't seen my Boston Queens in over five years. I ain't seen my RBG Boston Kings in five years. I ain't seen my Boston elders, my Boston college students, my Boston high school supporters, my Boston youth. So I got the role, family. It's the book signing. Come through, pull up, tell me how much you hate me, tell me how much you like me. Bring them FDMG donations, check a money order, pay a to FDMG Academy. Let's make it pop, brothers and sisters. Let's make it pop, brothers and sisters. 18 Whittier Street, 2 o'clock to 8 o'clock. Black Boston is bringing the black power today. I said Black Boston is bringing the black power. Augusta, Georgia, I'm going to see you Thursday. Next stop, Augusta, Georgia, Thursday. Next stop, Augusta, Georgia, Thursday. Atlanta, College Park on Friday. Augusta, Georgia, first time ever is on Thursday. And then Atlanta, Georgia, College Park on Friday. Let's make it pop. Las Vegas, you have just been confirmed for Friday, May 14th. The Prince of Pan-Africanism is coming back to Las Vegas for only the second time only. Friday, May 14th, Las Vegas. Saturday, May 15th, Oakland. Sunday, May 16th, Blessed Love on Vernon Ave in Los Angeles. It's going to be a desert storm. King Leo is bringing the heat to the West Coast. King Leo is bringing the heat to the West Coast. R.I.P. D.M.X. Hubert Davis, don't you ever in your life again say you proud to be black and then say you proud to have a white wife. Because if you were proud to be black, you would not have a white wife. If you need to reach the prince, 215-989-9858, 215-989-9858. Brothers and sisters in Massachusetts, any questions involving your children, bring them out today. It is a special ed drop-in clinic from two o'clock till eight o'clock. Book signing, meet and greet, special ed drop-in clinic. Any questions involving your children in New England, Rhode Island, Connecticut, New Hampshire, Maine, Vermont, Massachusetts. Free answers all day today in Boston. Free answers all day today in Boston. Two to eight, Black Power. 215-989-9858 if you need to text the Prince. One love.